I might post it and then delete it. I really don't know. Like this is a huge new other step even for the channel. Like I've never sat down and like chatted in this way with you guys. So hello YouTube, my name is Marie. I usually do K-drama related videos, either reviews or first impressions or lists sometimes, not very often right now. Today I kind of wanted to have more of a sit down chat which i have never done and kind of explain to you guys where i'm at with my personal life and oh my gosh this feels weird <laughs> i got accepted to ubc university of british columbia i'm gonna be starting in september really excited i've never wanted something so badly as i wanted to get accepted to ubc so a little bit of history of my um, post-secondary education thus far, I went to community college right out of high school. I did three years there. The first year was truly me not knowing what the heck I wanted to do. So I took some, all the basic like introductory first level classes, like I took uh, my English, my, um, my statistics class. Um, and then I took like first year psychologies and sociologies and then I also took a few anthropology classes which I loved. Like if you ever have the opportunity to take a anthropology elective, I loved it. I mean, my professor was also fantastic so that might play a little bit into the reason why I loved it so much but he was a really fascinating lecturer and I just found the actual content like I did um, cultural anthropology so basically like we were discussing what makes up a culture and like what elements there are of a culture and yeah I just love that class. <laughs> Anyways, so my first year there was really just like me dipping my toe into higher education and then I had a conversation with my then boyfriend, now fiance, you know what about like what our life plan was gonna look like. He basically said that he's gonna probably be in Campbell River the city that I live in. It's a very small, it's not that small, it feels small to me, but it's a small city on Vancouver Island that's like off the coast of British Columbia and considered like Canada's Hawaii. And he basically said that he's gonna be here for another two years. I at the time still did not know what I wanted to do. I love being a student. The academic setting is one that really suits me. Like I love learning <laughs> like i actually love writing essays and i love studying and i love quizzing myself like i really thrive in the academic setting i know a lot of people don't and i feel really bad for those people because our school system is really made for a certain type of student i just happen to be that kind of student and so i took a look at what north island college offers like, what can I do here in this city for another two years? Because, again, I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I did know I wanted to stay with Garner. What am I going to do? What am I going to waste my time on? And I decided to pursue the criminology diploma. It's a two-year diploma, and it's basically like the first two years of a criminology degree. I really loved it. Again, I'm not, I shouldn't be that surprised because I really just love learning. <laughs> so I really loved what we were learning about. I feel like I've gained a lot of really valuable knowledge about how my Canadian legal system works. Again, I loved it. I excelled. But all through my studying, I knew that practically criminology was not a field I wanted to get into. I didn't want to be a probation officer, I didn't want to be like a legal assistant, I didn't want to be maybe further on in my life like a judge or a lawyer, like I was not interested in any of these things. So that really put me in a predicament. <laughs> and the same can be said with psychology. Again, I loved psychology, I loved learning psychology, I was a tutor hired on by the college to tutor for psychology, um, but I would think about the jobs that are related to psychology. And again, I'm like, 
not really what I want to be doing. Like I skipped to 2017 and I graduate with a criminology diploma. Total, I did three years of community college. So that's been quite a few years actually and it shocks me how fast time goes because graduated 2017 and then I've just been working since then. One thing that has helped me tremendously with what I want to do with my life and my life goals was travel and I'm so thankful that Garner agreed to go to Korea like I really 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 desperately wanted to go I mean I watch so much Korean TV and I just like I had to see it for myself and we backpacked Korea for a month in October of 2018. A life-changing experience. Coming back from Korea, I had like a realization that this is what I'm passionate about. Korean culture, Korean media, Korean language, like this is what I want to study. So I started to do a little bit of research about like programs that Canada has concerning this. So like I came across like Asian studies programs. The only institutions that offer Asian studies with a major in Korean were UBC, which I'm now accepted to, so thank God. Um, and then University of Alberta. Their program honestly didn't look as good as UBC's program. It seemed a little bit more fluffy. And then the other program is McGill, but that is on the way other side of Canada and I did not want to make that move. So that is the plan right now. I've been accepted, I've done my deposit, <laughs> I'm going. And it starts in September. Yeah, I just, I think I wanna take you guys along for the ride. Like there are certain things about my channel that I love. Like I really love that the staple of the channel is the Korean related reviews, but I wanna expand. I really wanna expand like badly but I haven't yet for a couple of reasons. I don't feel like I have the knowledge to expand in the way that I want to. Like I wanna start doing the vlogs, not weekly, but like a week in my life kind of vlogs. I wanna start doing dance covers. I hinted at this in my last favorites video where I, I've learnt the majority of Mama Moo's hip dance and I've actually been vlogging the process and now I'm just waiting for the right day to like go out to the location where I want to film it at. But that idea of that video is also terrifying because I've never ever posted a dance cover before. Like I don't know what the response is gonna be. And I've worked so hard to get the subscribers that I have already that I don't wanna post something and then you all leave. Like it's not about the numbers, but I also don't wanna jeopardize what I've built because I, I think I have a great community of really kind and excited subscribers who comment regularly and do want to have discussions about the shows that I'm watching and, and blah, 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 blah. So I don't want to jeopardize losing them, but I think I just have to do it. I, I will never lose sight of the, like the reviews. Those, those will always be a staple of the, sh the channel, but I also want to start building other playlists I guess like I would love to have a dance covers playlist and I'd love to have more personal daily life vlogs like those are right now what I want to expand into yeah I just wanted to check in and tell you guys that I guess like there really isn't much of a point to this video besides me just like telling you a little bit about my life and where I'm at right now another big thing I didn't talk about was I've been promoted at work I am now manager and it is extremely stressful on me because I, it's a very small crew and I'm not well supported because the owner lives in a different province. <laughs> he lives in Alberta. And so essentially I'm running a business with an absentee owner and it's a huge learning curve. I feel like I'm handling all of the curveballs that are being thrown my way effectively enough like I guess to the best of my ability and if you're doing something to the best of your ability then that's the best you can do right like you can't you can't be hard on yourself if you're doing things to the best of your ability but I'm incredibly stressed 
incredibly stressed. I have made myself ill with the stress. Not only that, is now we're, we're in the process of getting a place in Vancouver and the, the housing crisis in Vancouver is a whole other issue. But again, I just wanted to let you guys know where I'm at, why I might not be uploading very many videos. Um, I do plan to make a first impression review for I'll come to you when the weather is nice tomorrow. I'm going to script that today. Like I work full time. My weekends are spent in Vancouver and that's a huge time commitment because like we have to drive an hour and a half to the ferry, take a two hour ferry, then take over an hour bus into the city and then meet the people to view a place and then come all the way back. So like my weekends, the days that I usually film and upload videos are now spent trying to get my life in order. So I I feel really bad that I haven't been able to upload as regularly as I want to, but I'm hoping by next month or the next couple months my life settles a little bit and I get a handle on things and then I can get back to a routine. But yeah, that's what this video is. It's weird. I feel weird. I might not post it. I don't know. I might post it and then delete it. I really don't know. Like, this is a huge new other step even for the channel. Like, I've never sat down and, like, chatted in this way with you guys. So, it would really mean a lot to me if you gave the video a like or even a dislike. <laughs> like, engaged with that little, like, button because that'll give me a good idea of whether or not this is something that I can do more of. I don't know. That's everything. <laughs> Have a good night and a good day. I will see you tomorrow with a first impression video. God, I better get that thing done. I, the only way I won't get that thing done is if someone calls in sick and I have to cover for them, which has happened a lot as well. So like, anyways, this is not a video to complain about my life. This is just to let you guys in on my life. <laughs> Bye.